guys, it's Chantel, and today I have a really fun project for you. I'm gonna design a paint splatter room in my basement. So we recently had my daughter's birthday at a paint splatter venue, and I did not realize I need one of these in my life. So, if you look around, I'm gonna convert my basement into this awesome creative space where we could do paintings, we could draw, I'm gonna get a table in the middle, I'm gonna have my paint splatter wall, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, now the rosin paper is on the floor. Floors are protected. We're gonna add the canvas. Okay, today's day two of building out my paint splatter room. I bought Velcro and we're gonna take the canvas and we're going to Velcro this side and then the wall so that it just sticks nicely. This is what it looks like with the Velcro. Now we're gonna attach it. Okay, now that we have all of the flooring down, all of the walls are covered, we got some crates. Now these crates are so you don't have to put your canvases up on the wall. For the canvases, we drilled some nails into the, can into the crate in order for the canvases to hang on. Just like this. So I got this crafting table at Ikea, and of course you have to put it together, but it's okay, because it's gonna be a great little space for them to draw and paint and do whatever they want, get messy. Okay, we're gonna test the room out. <laughs> what is on your feet? I just fell in the mud. <laughs> Okay, how do you like the room? Good. You ready to test it out? Hey, what are you guys doing? Daddy! Hey, Daniel, you doing? You painting? You painting? Daddy. Little Picasso. That's it guys, paint splatter room's all done. They're having a good time. I hope you learned something, get inspired, find your own paint splatter space to make a cool paint splatter room.